GP Racing Dream, Aprilia Super Teens, Steve. Second race then for the Aprilia Super Teens. Alistair Day is going to look to make it two out of two on TV day. We had a look at the front row earlier. Let's have a look at the second row. You've got Joe um, Francis here, number 40. Newcomer, 13 years old, won two races here yesterday. Bradley Jones, who finished second in race one. Just to the right of him, Louis Dawson, 34. And then you've got David Addingham, another newcomer. As you can see from behind me, grid full of identical Aprilia 125cc production motorcycles coming up next. Thanks very much, Steve. Yes, great stuff again. Look at that grid. And uh, as we saw from the earlier racing, superb race action from these youngsters. And more of the same to come. It's watch the lights time. Sid's off on the march. Alistair Deus giving the throttle some hammer there. And out go the lights and away they go. Yeah, good start there for Ben Luxton, number nine on the inside, but watch out for Alistair Deus on the wide apex. He's actually cut over to the outside now as they make it into the banking for the first time, but I think Ben Luxton's going to hold on to it. He does. Tom Oliver up to third position. Also good starts there for Allingham and Max Simmons, I saw, making good progress, number 21. Yeah, David Allingham, another of the riders over from Northern Ireland, and been making steady progress really throughout the whole season uh, good to see him uh, getting better and better but I'll tell you what Steve before we get into the thick of the action for this quick word of praise for Tom Oliver uh, he is leading this championship leading it well and always stays on the machine Yes, and as you say that, there's four abreast into Rocket in, and I thought we may have the curse there, but uh, no, he's not. He's finished every single race, and that just says it all. We've seen it before. Championships can still go wrong from here. I remember a few years back, Andy Reid did exactly the same thing, and unfortunately, it just took one bad round for him, and a good round for Wayne Ryan, and everything turned upside down. That's Sam Smith, unfortunately, out of the race. What a but, shame. Uh, he yeah. had a couple of DNFs yesterday, and I know he was, had a slightly bruised his hand, but uh, he's a game young youngster and he will be back for more at Cabell Park for sure. He will, you're just seeing their purple wheels and the orange bib Ooh. going a little bit wide and to target that's Joe Francis, the orange bib denoting the fact that he is a nitro newcomer, he's never raced on the roads, uh, on the circuits this season, he's just, uh, well you can see Ben Luxton having a look over his shoulder, yep that's Joe for you, there's uh, good racing at the front here but it is Alistair Deus, race one winner, that currently leads ahead of Tom Oliver, there he is number 17, Tom Oliver just to the right, number 20, behind them Ross Twyman, number 15, and then is that Max Simmons that's it made his indeed. way up? Absolutely, Max has uh, had some really good races so far this season, and this looking like his best race of the weekend so far. There's Alistair Deus from Tom Oliver, and you can see how it concertinas in and out as these youngsters really get to grips with this circuit here at Anglesey. Brad Jones chasing up towards Peel there. In the earlier race, we had a leading group of six. This is a leading group of seven. Yeah, amazing how these teenagers are able to filter on the inside, the outside, they're battling away with each other. Maybe Danny Pedrosa could learn a thing or two from some of uh, our youngsters out here. Yeah, the trick is, they stay on. I mean, the great thing that we see event after event is that the racing is so close in super teams and yet if you like so sensible they do look out for each other you don't get people doing daft things and shoving people in the weeds nope and uh, as we mentioned that's joe francis up the inside of bradley jones and moves up another place but it's still alistair deus uh, the 15 year old from birmingham that leads with the blue and white leathers and a little move there from tom oliver up to the inside in church. It's a very quick corner to be making an overtaking manoeuvre and he decides better of it. So it is Deus from Oliver. But look at the drive from Ross Twyman again. Fantastic stuff. He's done two for one now. He was in third. He now leads it, does Ross, as they run up the hill towards Rocket Inn. Now it's all about uh, getting on the brakes as well and it's a tight left-hander. And Tom Oliver does that beautifully and Ross Twyman, who was third, got through to the lead and he's back to third. Yeah, he's been uh, hang out to dry, and Max Simmons now joining in the fun in fourth position. The Salisbury rider just ahead there of the orange bibbed Joe Francis, and it all oh, looks like uh, he was a little bit close to, for comfort. Nearly running to the back of Ross Twyman. He was very quick through there, wasn't he? He suddenly realised his greater exit speed was almost more than he could cope with. But it's Deus chasing hard after Tom Oliver. Oliver leads across the line, the championship leader, number 20, out the front. There we see uh, shots of Bradley Jones just ahead of Ben Luxton, but at the front here, number 20, that's uh, Tom Oliver from Colchester. 
Mr. Consistency wants a win. He's uh, not content with taking uh, the thirds and fourths. He now wants to prove, you know what, I'm not a one-trick pony. I'm going to get myself 25 points here. Further back, here's one of our young female riders, Robin Lindsay from Scotland. She joins uh, Charlie Oakland and Leanne Hunt as uh, the three female riders that we have out here in the super teens. Oh, it's great stuff at the top of the hill once again. Tom Oliver, then Alistair Dayes. Well, he, I was going to say he was in second. He was just in second, but Joe Francis was up alongside him. Joe just getting squeezed back into third there. These three with a tiny bit of daylight uh, back to their pursuers at the moment. So these three up for the podium places as the race uh, draws into its final stages, but they've got to wind their way past the slower riders. Uh, there's uh, Leanne Hunt there and James Howard. And again, back markers safely holding their positions as the leaders come up and and cross the start finish line once again. Yeah, there's only three in it for the win now. Unfortunately for Ben Luxton, Ross Twyman, and Brad Jones and Max Simmons, they've all fallen back slightly and they've got a lot of work to do if they want to catch up with the leading trio. Here they come, it's Oliver from Deus in second. There's Joe Francis, the young newcomer, 13 year old from Chester. Deus running wide onto the uh, rumble strips. Yeah, you'd be a fool to pick which one of these is going to win. I tell you what, Joe Francis, just as a bit of a clue, sat there in third, has just put in the fastest lap of the race so far and this race is quicker than the one we saw earlier. And look as he uses that speed to pull up alongside Alistair Deus in the long run up the hill. Yes, Francis got the inside line for second position, but Deus is running wide. That would give him an advantage. Yes, he manages to close the door on Joe Francis, so it is Tom Oliver. Further back, this is the battle for fourth. Ross Twyman leading Ben Luxton there. Uh, just behind him is Bradley Jones and then Max Simmons. Right, that's that uh, leading bunch, I can tell you. Further back, Harry Coomber has worked his way through from a rather poor qualifying as far as he's concerned. And he is ahead of a battle with Ryan Longshore, Dave Allingham and Louis Dawson. But back to the front and it is championship leader just Tom Oliver at the moment. Yes, so you get the impression if there was maybe five or six more laps left, then Ross Twyman might be able to just close that gap back up to the leaders. I think that the uh, backmarkers put a stop to their chase for the win. There's Max Simmons uh, with the well, James Whittam-like riding style as he makes his way around target corner. And there is the battle for four still, and Simmons once more. Knee on the deck, around the banking, just behind Ben Luxton, who's making a move now on Bradley Jones to try and move up to fifth, and does so. Up ahead of them, it's still Tom Oliver, Alistair Deus and Joe Francis. There they are on cue, and here is this battle behind. Ross Twyman at the moment, towing them round, but uh, Ben Luxton closing on him. This is the long run up the hill once again. Over the top they pop, here come the leaders. Alistair Deus right on the case of Tom Oliver. There's absolutely no time for any of them to relax, is there? No, there isn't, and uh, you get the feeling that Alistair Deus has maybe got the lap pace. He certainly travels with a lot more speed through the corners, but Tom Oliver, you know, he's not championship leader for nothing. They make their way through the corkscrew. It is Tom Oliver, 20, ahead of Alistair Deus, and Alistair Deus, you can't make a move through there. That's too tight. Yes, the door well and truly closed. Look at Ben Luxton. We said he was on a bit of a charge. He's now worked his way ahead of Ross Twyman, and he now is at the head of that chasing group there. They run through, Max Simmons uh, tucked on the back in seventh place. They will now have to pass the same back markers that the leaders were just dealing with. But the last lap flag is out. Tom Oliver, championship leader, can he hold on for a race win? Well, you can't count out the 13-year-old number 40 there with the purple wheels and the orange bib. Joe Francis trying to get in on the act. Alistair Deus has got eyes only for Tom Oliver in front. Who's it going to be for the win? Oliver goes through Rocket in. It's advantage Oliver from here on in. Not easy to get past Oliver from Rocket out all the way to the finish line. Yeah, beginning to run out of sensible overtaking places. But uh, these youngsters will keep on trying they'll look left they'll look right Alistair Deus remember on the previous lap was running very hot at the bottom of the corkscrew oh, in the club goes. corner they're having a look but there's not enough room a good defensive line from Tom Oliver and Alistair Deus is gonna have a look no Ooh. not gonna happen great win here for Tom Oliver championship leader extends his advantage check a flag out well well what a good result then great racing but what a result for Tom Oliver yes uh, that will relax him a little I feel Championship lead, points lead, but what a win from Alistair Deus, Joe Francis third, then Ben Luxton, Ross Twyman, Brad Jones, Max Simmons, Harry Coomber, Ryan Longshore and Dave Allingham.
Well, on to the podium, and uh, Tom Oliver, a very happy winner from Alistair Deus and Joe Francis. Well, there we can see the point standings. 50 points now, advantage for Tom Oliver from Joe Francis and Ben Luxton at the top of the overall standings. And on the Nitro Newcomers podium, Joe Francis takes the win from Ryan Longshore and David Allingham. There we see the Nitro Newcomers points. Well, a, a handsome lead at the moment for Joe Francis from Ryan Longshore and David Allingham. But don't forget, there's 100 points up for grabs at every event. Tom, you've been very consistent so far, which has obviously got you a championship lead. But uh, in that race, you decided that you wanted to get the 25 points as well. Yeah, I just managed to get away in the lead and managed to hold it. And I mean, on the last lap, you must have known that uh, both Joe and Alistair were close to you. Um, it was sort of a few manoeuvres going on here and there. When, at what point did you think, I've definitely won this? Well, the whole race, could, coming up into the hairpin at the top of the back straight, I could hear, I'm not sure if it was Alistair or Joe, I could hear him behind me the whole time. And I just tried to keep my line like, as consistent as possible and just managed to take the win. Anyone to thank them? Yeah, I just want to thank my dad for bringing me here, uh, my mum, my brother, and my nan and granddad for all their support.